What's going on, my fellow Guardians? Your dude Sly here, and welcome back to another Sly Nation Vow of the Disciple raid guide. So let's talk secret chests. More specifically, grabbing the newest raid chest all by your lonesome. Anyone can get it, and it's straight up easy to do. You don't need a checkpoint or special weapons. You simply launch the raid, shoot some stuff, run a little bit, and then it's yours. However, ever since Deepstone Crypt, Bungie has implemented a system where secret raid chests only drop weapons and armor that you have already acquired in the raid. Now, personally, I'm not a fan of it, but for those looking for certain roles, it's a way to get extra drops, especially if you're hunting those god rolls. So in order for this chest to give you anything useful besides Spoils of War, you will have to have had complete at least one encounter to get any type of loot from this chest. If not, the only thing you'll get are Spoils of War and Raid Mods. So with that out of the way, let's dive in guys. Go ahead and launch the Vow of the Disciple Raid, and then put on a sniper rifle or preferably Outbreak Prime, which works great for this first part. Now at the gate, you're going to need to kill the Reflection of Savathun, and while not a problem, it does take a while as she's meant for six people. So whittle her down with Outbreak, and then go ahead and enter the bog. Once here, go ahead and hop on your Sparrow, and then make your way to the start of the Parade Float. Now once things begin, you need to take out the ogres and most of the adds. Unfortunately, the adds keep spawning in regardless, but just take care of the majority. Then you'll want to grab three of the splinters. However, you do not want to head back to the float. Once you grab the first three splinters, you need to keep them on you. This will allow you to keep the darkness pervert at bay. Once you grab the three splinters, go ahead and move on, leaving the float behind. Now, at three locations within this first bog area, you're going to see pyramid shards that you need to shoot. The good thing is that once you get close to these shards, a waypoint will pop up. So the first one is located just up from the beginning, clustered around fallen trees. It'll be on your left, just off of the main path. Alright, so go ahead and shoot it, and then finally pop it. After that, you want to jump on top of the downed trees, and then over to the next area where you see a temple and some obelisk looking things. The largest obelisk at the top right corner is where you want to go. The next shard is located right behind it. So go ahead and jump down, run over to the corner, pop that one, and then you want to head back to the main path. Follow it until you reach the part where the parade float usually ends up flying over the bridge. Now on the other side, you're going to see small archways with grates over them. However, once you jump over the bridge, the grate on the far right side will be removed. This is the final shard. So go ahead and snake your way inside, shoot it, and now hop back on your sparrow and stay straight. You're going to see two temples in front of you and one of the walkways has this kind of messed up looking yin yang symbol. I don't know what else to call it. So go ahead and follow that, jump on top of it, and head to the temple on the right hand side. Within, you'll find this secret chest within the Disciples' Bog. And yeah, that's it, y'all. Thank you guys so much for watching and for supporting my channel, Sly Nation. Keep it here for plenty more Destiny 2, Vow of the Disciples, Secrets, Guides, and videos. But until then, this is your dude Sly, and I'll catch you all next time. <laughs>